IBC CEO Ezra Chiloba was on the spot this morning at the Parliamentary Public Accounts Committee over questionable expenditure and transfer of election devices to Burundi. Chiloba, however, insists that all tendering processes were conducted above board. Our senior reporter Francis Gashuri has been following the proceedings and now joins us live from Parliament. Francis, uh, perhaps you can start by telling us why exactly would election devices be transferred to Burundi in the first place? That was one of the questions that uh, members of the Public Accounts Committee were raising uh, when uh, Ezra Chiloba, the CEO of IBC and his team, appeared before the team uh, appeared before the committee for uh, a grilling on a, a number of issues relating to the 2013 general election. But uh, what came out clearly is that um, uh, from the uh, uh, CEO's admission and uh, as well as the other team members is that uh, there are quite a number of issues uh, of logistics and uh, procurement that uh, were raised, or there were challenges, or they were making admissions that there were serious challenges uh, in relation to the procurement and logistics issues relating to the 2013 general election. Actually, the Auditor General was raising questions on the uh, expenditure of 460 million shillings that was, was paid to Face Technologies uh, for the supply of extra electronic identification devices, EVIDs, that were uh, procured for the 2013 general election. But those kits did not work. Yet IBC paid Face Technologies 250 million shillings. So the Auditor General was raising questions on the whole matter of value for money and that uh, the taxpayer did not get value for money because even after spending an extra 250 million shillings those kits did not work however the ibc team uh, was arguing that um, actually the national treasury had okayed a payment of 460 million shillings but after ibc did due diligence they found that um, the only money that was uh, supposed to be paid to face technologies ex extra payment was 250 million shillings and they're saying it was contractual and they had very little to do with it or they could not have um, circumvented the uh, the contractual agreement that had been uh, entered to be entered into between IBC and uh, face technologies and also there was a question of uh, logistics and the use of motor vehicles that had been procured some vehicles that were supposed to be for example in Kisi were found in Kisumu others in Marakwet and so uh, the back and forth between um, uh, various offices at IEBC, logistics, procurement, uh, election management, all these ra being raised by the members of the PSC. And uh, IBC, the, the IEBC team will be coming back to PSC on, th on Thursday uh, to clarify on some of these issues and also to come with them as supporting documents to show that uh, everything that they did was above board and uh, to show how they were able to, stream to streamline on the challenges that have been raised by the Auditor General insofar as the expenditure for the 2013 general election is concerned, Joy.